in the top right corner of Everdream. It's the Blue Zerg, Denver, and in the bottom left, as the Red Protoss, it's parting. I think this is an even match. I really do. Denver has been having some crazy results lately. Parting, though, is always a force to be reckoned with and always a favorite to win pretty much any tournament uh, around this caliber that he's in. Or at least reach top eight. Minimum. Minimum top eight. It's weird how you can still see the, the decal circle, like through the transparency, the pool. Uh, of the hatch. But a hatch first from our French Zerg. Parting. Going to open standard as well. Although we know he has some crazy cannon rushes and proxy robos in his back pocket. Uh, looks like he's not going to use it right here. Twilight Council finishes up for parting. I mean, this is most assuredly Glaive Adepts. There's the robotics facility. There's the Glaives. Denver splitting off a couple scouting links to see when and where the Protoss moves in. Did he scout the main? He has not scouted the main yet. Okay, I guess it's 3.30, but this is late. Like, this should be going in at three minutes. Will he respond correctly, and will he respond in time? There's a Roach Warren going down for the Blue Zerg. He's going to need about 16 links to deal with this. Along with, you know, the six to eight Roaches split between his three bases. Here's the shade forward from parting, but Denver didn't make links. He's relying on a roach-only defense, which means he is limited in his ability to uh, s in his ability to stop the mobility of the adepts. And that means he's going to suffer quite a few drones and damage. While these roaches won't die to the adepts, they they kind of suck at stopping the adepts from getting in on the drones and just target firing them down.
And there we go. Parting is going to head into the... Ooh! An Evo Chamber block on these Adepts is going to stop some of the damage, but certainly not all. 15 drones have gone down. And... Uh, actually, Parting isn't going to shade the Survivors onto the third. It's just going to trade them out for a couple more drones. The final suicide is here. There's the shade. Oh, he's not going to go after the third. Interesting. Um, so it's been about, like, 22 drones in damage, I want to say. Parting. It's holding the front of his gnat. Parting takes another six drones in damage. Or, uh, deals out, dishes out another six drones worth of damage. My god, if I can get a sentence out of my mouth. Holy crap. Denver gets a little bit supply blocked as well. Harding is going to take a third here. As soon as this creep clears up, there's the last patch gone. The Observer sees this move out from the Zerg. There's, like, an immortal for every three roaches here. And Denver move command into the Protoss, so he'll be able to trade out for a single Immortal. And that's going to be all she wrote. It was like one Immortal, one Stalker dead for eight Roaches. Not very good at all. Uh, Denver is still ahead in the worker count. He's totally alive. He did a good job of replacing those drones as they fell. He needs to be thinking about either all inning. We're taking a fourth, though. Denver is moving his units around, uniting, splitting. Now he's going to respond to the Adept Warp in in his main. Another four drones fall. Harding has a very scary army. Technically, Denver's up in supply, but a lot of it is Ling Bane. And uh, with the right force fields, Harding can totally negate a lot 
of that Link Bane and get a Disruptor shot off. That could absolutely decimate Denver's army. But that's all possibility, right? Uh, Parting has to actually execute, just like Denver has to actually connect with the Bane Links um, to have any value at all. Mm. For this many Banelings, I don't know if nine probes are the greatest trade. I mean, sure, nine kills are wonderful, but... That's a lot of gas to be traded out for the Zerg. Roach Ravager is going to get cut off and cut to shreds. The Link's coming in a little bit at a time. Denver setting up a six-pronged attack, which is very hard to do, and it will ultimately pay off with a lot of these Biles connecting, but he bled out quite a few units at the beginning of the engagement. Will it be enough? It will. With the Biles connecting in the middle, Denver is going to... In the top right corner of Eternal Empire, it's the Blue Zerg, it's Denver, and in the bottom left, as the Red Protoss... It's parting. Denver took game number one. It was pretty neck and neck. It's incredible that Parting <laughs> killed 23 drones and lost. Uh, he just ate too many adepts and damage for it to pay off. He created an all-in scenario for himself and tried to transition out of it. But it just didn't, didn't quite work out. I'm a little bit surprised that Parting hasn't dropped a Forge this game. He has a very mean proxy robo he can drop right around here. Look, Denver even knows about it. Look at this Overlord positioning right here. He's not floating it above his natural. He's looking for the proxy robo out of Parting. But he's not going to get it. This is a pull first from Denver. Uh, just to be safe, I think. Don't know that he's going to get aggressive. Denver gets out a third. Uh, it's like a couple seconds late, but he's going to be fine. Parting, going into Stalkers, getting up a robotics facility. Partings, getting out an observer. And going into resonating glaives. Alright, he's gonna try this again. Uh, 
He might try it with a DT follow-up this time. Denver loses his Overlord, which is going to totally incapacitate his ability to scout here. Adepts pick up into the warp prism. Denver is going for eight roaches again, but again, he isn't making lings. There aren't lings to wrap around the adepts. Um, I mean, he dealt with this quite handily the last time parting pushed in here, but this time parting is going for the dark shrine follow up. Denver has no lair on the way. He is finally getting a safety spore. The third is still quite vulnerable. DT pokes in at the third, but Denver does have spores now. Some roaches wrapped around the spore in the main as well. Parting is going to have to back out, make a couple archons, and harass away. Or he can make a big brain play and try to snipe down the spore with the adepts. This is a suicide mission for all these units. He's not going to get the snipe. This is terrible damage. To well, oh, he did get the snipe. Okay. The lair is almost finished here for Denver. How much damage can Parting do before the Observer gets out? The answer is, like, none. Like, next to none. There's the Spore Crawler. And... Denver holds on. This is far less drone damage than the previous game. Denver's going into a Baneling Nest. Roach speed on the way as well. Great. Sorry, chances, a uh, friend of mine in the clan. Oof. Fourth base of Denver gets cancelled, which kind of sucks. I think Denver's kind of going for the wrong response by trying to take a fourth instead of all in ink. Uh, but hey. Whatever floats your boat, Zergy boy. Harding has one disruptor into this warp prism. 
You don't want to drop it there. Yeah, this shot's gonna go... It's not even close to connecting. Harding's gonna take a fourth base himself. Denver basically maxed out uh, in the next larva wave. Okay, well, oh, he picks off the disruptor before the shot can go off. That was very high risk, high reward out of the blue zerg. Uh, Denver might be able to get a cancel on Parting's fourth. It's entirely possible. Banelings are going to... They are not going to connect with the probes. Okay, but they are going to circle around and connect with a lot of the Protoss army. A ton of stalkers just deleted right there. But, I mean, those banelings were the bulk of Denver's force here. A single DT chasing the Zerg back home. Look at him, he's got his double blade. I hide in the shadows. Wait, that's not what they say. From the shadows, I cut. Wait, is that the stalker? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't play Protoss. I play Zerg. Alright. What does the Zerg say? Blech. 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 You like my Overlord impression? <laughs> I'm working on it. Gets better every day. Rip Scouting Stalker. more banelings try to connect yeah don't succeed parting picks off six drones in the back Oh man. That straight up rack held off the map. Okay. Parting. I gotta stop saying okay. It's because I'm tired. Banelings roll forward. A lot of them do connect with stalkers. Quite a few go down. Corrosive Bile connects with the Colossi. Two Colossi go down. Denver has 52 Zerglings coming out behind this so while parting may look like he's trading somewhere close to decently these reinforcements are going to absolutely crush the protoss he needs to recall now or this is going to be gg the stalkers are going to kite the zerglings back 
Hive Tech is hitting the field for Denver. Okay. Harding has another reinforcement wave of Stalkers. 14 more Roaches. A couple more Ravagers about to hit the field. Let's take a look at the upgrades. It's plus two attack, one armor against two two from the Zerg. Harding has the concave, but Denver has the numbers for sure. Denver is going to get plus one air weapons on the field for an eventual transition into Broodlord or Mutalus. GG is called. Denver takes.